identify the following instrument or device. So here in an image, we have something that looks like a screw, screw like structure. Okay, this has a head and these are the threads. Now if we look at it carefully, this head doesn't have any place for an abutment fixture. Okay, here you cannot place anything else inside. It's a single piece structure in which you cannot put a prosthesis. Okay, and these threads, these are very peculiar threads. It's a tapered kind of an tapered screw. These threads are active. Active meaning they are very sharp. They will cut into the bone. Also looking at the color, it doesn't look like it is made up of titanium. It has a yellowish hue and it is not looking like a titanium implant. So let's have a look at the options. Mono implant, also known as cortical implant, mini implant or orthodontic implant, dental implant or the conventional implant and none of the above. So this looking at the image, it definitely looks like an implant. So it is safe to eliminate the option none of the above. I can say that. Third option dental implant. Okay. Now these are these, uh, these are endosseous implants. Whenever the word dental implant is uh, used, you can always say that these are endosseous implants. Now endosseous implants are the ones that go into the alveolar bone and will support a prosthesis. Okay, so here as we can see there is no place for prosthesis but there are single piece implants also which are endosseous which are used for over dentures. So this could be one of them but looking at the other features, firstly it is not made up of titanium so it is not a conventional implant. You can have either zirconia or other ceramic implants or titanium for conventional endosseous implants. So we can eliminate this option. Next is mono implant or cortical implant. So cortical implants are also similar to uh, endosseous implants, but they engage the cortical bone. Okay, the cortex that is the body of maxilla or the mandible and not the alveolar bone. So we will see the structure of these different types of implants. Then there is third mini implant. Mini implant is the one which is used for orthodontics. So let's have a closer look at the options given. Option one was mono implant also known as cortical implant. So this is the thread that goes into the basal bone or into the cortex. And this here supports the superstructure or the crown. So in highly resorbed cases where alveolar bone is deficit in that kind of situation you can use uh, cortical implants which are also known as mono implant. The commercially available company is mono implant. In the second image over here, the first implant that you can see is endosseous implant. You can see that this is titanium based and the threads are not so active. If you have very active threads, it's going to cause uh, trauma, micro fractures in the bone. So you cannot have endosseous implants that are very active. It has a polished collar on top this one specifically, not all of them will have this. So this in the image, the image shows a tissue level implant. Tissue level endosseous implant, which is not similar to what is given in the question. Okay. Then the next three images are the images of orthodontic implants or mini implants. As the name suggests mini, that means they are smaller in size and also used in orthodontic Anchorage purposes. Okay, so if you have to distalize something or if you need additional anchorage, then you can use mini implants, expansion or distalization. So mini implants are used in orthodontics for anchorage. Other uses include overdenture retention in areas where there is minimal bone available or in narrow ridges. They can also be used to anchor temporary prosthesis in case of overdentures or on arch with newly extracted teeth. So they can also be used as transitional implants. Mainly they are used for orthodontic purposes only. These are older concepts where uh, additional uh, reinforcement was achieved with mini implants and then you can give a prosthesis over it. Now it is no longer used. 
The diameter of mini implants ranges from 1.8 to 2.9 mm, which is again an important question on similar grounds. Most mini implants can be placed without having to reflect a flap. So there is no uh, flap related procedure associated in their placement. They are also designed for immediate loading, offer a convenience of you visit and allowing the patients to have teeth right away. But that is only for smaller implants, single piece implants, which can take up prosthesis. This, the one in the image is not meant for prosthetic reason. This is meant only for orthodontic purposes. Although these implants are essentially made from the same material as larger standard implants and are constructed as root form implants, the main difference lies in the smaller diameter. So these implants can also be made of titanium. They can also be made of stainless steel. So these uh, are smaller in size, but they look similar to root form implants or endosseous implants. But main difference is they are smaller in diameter. That is why they are known as mini implants.